Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel once again. In this video, we are going to study about the dynamic range, particularly the dynamic range of the ADC. So in general, what a dynamic range is, it is basically the ratio between the largest and the smallest values that a certain quantity can assume. What do, you, what do I mean by that is basically, let's say we have an ADC. So, of n bit ADC, let's say. So, what is the largest value that ADC can reliably detect or measure or resolve is basically 2 power n minus 1 times the LSV. Now, the ADC can measure or detect also or ideally or properly convert into analog to digital form. Uh, there would be some smallest value for that. So that is equal to the 1 LSV for a n bit LSV ADC. Ratio of the largest value that ADC can detect divided by the ratio of lowest value is nothing but the dynamic range of the ADC. So in general, if we define the dynamic range of the ADC is nothing but the ratio between the noise floor of ADC and the maximum input. Okay. So, to define the dynamic range of the ADC, we can say dr is nothing but 20 log of base 10 2 power n minus 1 times the LSV voltage divided by 1 LSV. Okay, in dB. So, this is dynamic range in decibel. Okay. So, this comes down to Six point, approximately 6.02 n okay where n is the number of bits of the ADC or the effective number of the bits of the ADC so if if you consider for a 10 bit ADC let's consider a 10 bit ADC so in 10 bit ADC it will have 20 log which is equal to 60 dB right what does it mean it means so, in other way, if you try to look at the 60 dB dynamic range, 60 dB dynamic ADC having a 60 dB of dynamic range can resolve properly an analog signal. So, a dynamic range of 60 dB implies the ADC would be able to resolve the signal amplitude from x to 1000 x, where x is the minimum that can be detected. So, that is the dynamic range of the ADC. Now, as per the formula, the dynamic range is nothing but 26.02n. Uh, plus 1.73 like 1.7 db so if i consider a 16 bit adc the dynamic range would be equal to some ideally it should be equal to somewhere near around 97.7 db right but do we really get that ideal dynamic range for the adc so what is the reason behind it we do not ideally get uh, what we get out of this formula we do not get the ideal dynamic range of 97 db for a 16 16 uh, bit adc the reason behind it is the noise, noise, inherent noise, be it the quantization noise in the ADC, which is inherent in any ADC. So that decreases the ideal dynamic range of the ADC. So if you consider a 16-bit SAR ADC of analog devices, which you can find out, so the data sheet you can find out on the internet, 16-bit SAR ADC of successive approximation type ADC of the analog devices, you can type it by AD7380. And if you check the DR of it, it is somewhere near 95 dB, which is 2 dB less than the ideal, the dynamic range of the ADC. So what could be the reason for this decrease in the dynamic range of the ADC? So let's go back to the basics of dynamic range, which tells the ratio of maximum to the minimum. So the maximum value ADC will have can measure is 2 power n minus 1 times the LSB. And the minimum is 1 LSB. And then we take log of it, 20 log of it, base 10. So this 1 LSB, this is the ideal value which uh, to calculate the dynamic range. But what happens here in the denominator is, this is the least value that uh, an ADC should ideally detect. But does this happen? So, no. There, there is inherent noise of quantization noise in the ADC, which increases this denominator by adding that noise is QE, quantization noise, then you have a resistive noise. There are different noise in the in the in in, in a ADC, which few of them can be removed, but there are few of them which cannot be. And one of them is quantization noise. So 
due to presence of quantization noise in the adc we see the decrease in the deviation in the dynamic range from its ideal behavior and thereby if you see the dynamic range of the 87380 differential part then you will find it somewhere near 95 dv in the data sheet you can check any other data sheet as well so in general without over sampling the dynamic range is not what we accurately calculate from the formula it is lesser than that due to the quantization noise so it can now how can we increase this dynamic range there are many ways to increase the dynamic range one is uh, over sampling we can increase it by over sampling we can also increase it by by keeping the two adcs adc1 and adc2 in series sorry in parallel that will and average it out so that will also increase the dynamic range of the adc so there are many other ways as well we can also put the pro, a pga pro, programmable the gain amplifier to increase followed by the oversampling that will also increase the dynamic range of the adc so we'll try to study all these uh, methods to increase the dr in the upcoming lecture so before uh, we end the lecture i'll also draw your attention towards what does dynamic range mean in terms of the voltage so if a 16 bit adc if i want to find out the minimum value of uh, one lsv the voltage equivalent to one lsv the v reference divided by 2 power 16 that will give us uh, let's say the reference voltage of i'll consider the same adc ad730 was so refer external reference voltage is 2.5 volt divided by 2 power 16 if you calculate this you will be getting somewhere near 28 microvolt so 28 microvolt is the one lsv voltage equivalent to one lsv and what is the voltage equivalent to 2 power n minus 1 which is nothing but 65535 equivalent to this code we have a voltage of 2.5 so with respect to reference we can calculate uh, the minimum voltage that adc can detect distinctively and clearly so that is 28 microvolt ideal but that's not the true voltage which we uh, when we practically calculate this basically the method of calculating dynamic range is let's say we have two input p and m of an adc we need to sort the p and m once we sort the input and then we calculate the dynamic range what we find there is certain minimum number of uh, codes the minimum number of codes required see some spread let's say this is the minimum number of codes that may be bigger than this 28 microvolts so 28 microvolts implies one lsv one code so there could be chances that we may get seeing the spread of the code after four lsv that means the 4 LSV has been lost in the quantization noise and thereby decreases the dynamic range of the ADC. So again, there are different methods to increase it. We'll try to look at it in next lecture. Thank you.